Amen to the first family, amen. To all whom honor is due on this morning. So we ask you this morning, amen, if you will just allow the Lord to minister to you this morning as we go forth in our service. I want you to forget about everything that happened this past week, amen. Forget about everything that happened on yesterday, amen. Forget about what happened on the way to church this morning, amen. But I want you to think about the goodness of Jesus. And all that he has done. And for that, somebody should shout out hallelujah. hallelujah. Come on, make some noise this morning. Hallelujah. 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 So at this time, we're going to ask, amen, all the, all the people come and lead us in our prayer of consecration this morning hallelujah. as we go forward. Hallelujah. Oh Lord, oh Lord, how excellent is thy name in all of the earth. Father God, we come now with bowed heads and humble hearts. Oh, how we thank you, God, for all that you have done for us. We thank you for this day because we truly understand that you are the beholder of the day. Yes. God, we ask that you continue to move by your power, your might, and your spirit. We ask that you continue to please forgive us of any sins we have committed. And have mercy on our soul because, Lord, we have sinned against you and you alone and we're sorry. Yeah. Now, Lord, since you allowed us to get here in this yeah. place, to meet you here in this place, we ask that you move anything and everything out of our way so we can give you a, 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 a praise like never before. So we can glorify your name like never before. Because the word that's going to come forth today is going to be a word like never before. God, continue to strengthen and bless our pastor. Continue to let him down in the deep secrets of your storehouse. Continue to crown his head with more wisdom, more knowledge, and more understanding. Bless him and his family. And then, God, we thank you. We thank you, God. We thank you, God. We thank you, God. If we had 10,000 tongues, we don't thank you enough. So we're going to thank you with the one we got. Thank you, God, for all that you've done. Thank you for all that you're going to do. And thank you for doing what you're doing right now. God, we love you today. We adore you today. We magnify your name today. We lift your name on how we bless your son, Jesus. And we welcome the power and provisions of the Holy Spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on, give God a praise. Amen, that some distraction is going on in the room, amen. But I'm going to ask you this morning, amen, if you just would begin to shake yourself this morning, amen. Shake up all those things, amen, that try to hinder you from giving God a praise, amen. Shake them off this morning, amen. Come on, shake them off this morning, amen. Because all that God has done for us, amen, somebody didn't wake up this morning, they woke up, but they wasn't in their right mind, amen. They didn't have the use activities of their limb, amen. But God was so grateful this morning, amen, that he allowed the blood to continue to run warm in your veins, amen. He allowed you, amen, to step out of bed, amen, and put one foot in front of the other this morning, amen. And for that, you should have a praise way down on the inside this morning. Come on, somebody, make some noise for Jesus. Somebody make some noise for Jesus this morning. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! This 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 is old broke down body mind sometimes. It don't want to move the way it need to move sometimes. It don't it don't it don't feel like it always want to get up out of bed, amen. But I just say, Lord, if I could just put one foot on the ground, amen, I will give you praise, amen. Lord, if I could just open up my mouth and tell you thank you, amen. 
I will give you praise, Lord. If I can just, just look into the hills of which cometh my help, oh God, I will give you praise, God, because you've been so good to me this morning. Oh, hallelujah. And God has been good to somebody else, amen. So if God's been good to you, I need you to make it personal this morning with your praise, amen. If God has been good to you, I need you to make it personal with your worship this morning. Hallelujah, Lord, speak to our hearts this morning. Speak to our hearts this morning, God. Stir up the gift within us this morning, oh God. Loose us this morning, oh God. Allow your anointing to run fresh to this place this morning, oh God. Stop by here, Lord, and see about us this morning, oh God. Lord, we need you this morning, God. Come on in the room, Lord. Come on in the room, Lord. Come on in the room, Lord. Thank the Lord with you for this morning. Thank the Lord for you for this morning. You may have a presence, but you don't have no power. Come on in the room, Lord. Come on in the room, Lord. Have your way this morning, God. Have your way this morning, God. Stir up the gift this morning, oh God. Shake us this morning, oh God. Loose us this morning. Hallelujah, Lord. Touch the sick and ill this morning, oh God. God, in the name of Jesus. Stir us up this morning, God. Stir us up this morning, God. Oh God, have your way this morning. Have your way this morning. Have your way this morning, oh God. Loose every shackle this morning. Loose every shackle this morning, oh God. Oh God, give it to us this morning, God. Give it to us this morning, God. Set us free this morning, God. Set us free to praise you this morning, God. Set us free to worship you this morning, oh God. Let us free to adore you this morning, oh God. Let us forget about those things, oh God, which are behind us, oh God. Help us to reach into those things, oh God, which are before us, oh God. God, we press this morning, God. God, we press this morning, God. Oh God, we press this morning. We press this morning, God. Have your way in this service, God. Lord, we ask you to just poop wherever you this morning. Every chair this morning. Allow your anointing to fall fresh upon the praise and worship team this morning, oh God. As they sing skillfully unto you, God. God, we ask you to just rip, tear up the place this morning, God. Tear up the place this morning, God. With your spirit, oh God. Come through, oh God. Come through, oh God. Oh, say the Lord rebuke you. Say the Lord rebuke you this morning. Say the Lord rebuke you. Loose that man this morning. Loose that woman this morning. Loose that child this morning. Loose our household this morning. Loose our finances this morning. Have your way, God. 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 Right now, Jesus. Right now, Jesus. Touch every minister this morning, they God. Every minister in the house of God. Allow your anointing to fall this morning. God, we ask you to touch the usher this morning, oh God. Touch everyone in the seat this morning, oh God. Have your way, God. In the name of Jesus. Say you have no room in this place. No room this morning. Woo, Jesus. Woo, Jesus. Come on, give them a praise this morning. I need everybody that has breath in your body this morning to give God a praise. Come on, if you have breath in your body, open up your mouth this morning. Somebody shout, thank you, Lord. Come on, somebody shout, thank you, Lord. Somebody shout, glory. Come on, somebody shout, hallelujah. Now God's been good to you. I need you to clap your hands like they on fire this morning. Come on, come on, come on. Woo! We come too far tonight to give God praise. We come too far tonight to give God praise. Out of all the hell some of us have been through, and if you're here this morning and the devil's been on your back, come on and give him a praise this morning. Woo, Jesus! 
Jesus.
Glory to God. Glory to God. Can we please all stand for the prayer? Amen. team is coming. Amen. They're going to come with the selection. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How many of you know Jesus won't let you fall? Amen.
elect, precious, and he that believe it on him shall not be confounded. Welcome to my Zion when you were love here or what? And ain't nobody gonna run you off. Amen. Amen. Have you guys enjoyed yourself thus this far? Glory to God. Amen. Every first Sunday is our communion Sunday like today. Amen. Every second Sunday is our women's Sunday. Women, let me hear you make some noise this morning. And every third Sunday is our men of Abraham. Men, where you at? Oh, ladies, they got us this morning. They got us this morning. Oh, yes, Lord. They got us this morning. Now. <laughs> we better mark that on the calendar. Yeah, respect your own honor. Amen. <laughs> and every fourth Sunday is our future. Let's give it up for our youth this morning. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Uh, please mark your calendars. March is March the 17th. No. Is it the 16th? No. It's Tuesday. It's this Tuesday. It was scheduled for the 12th, uh, which was on a Saturday, but it's for this Tuesday. Um, at one, which is March eighth, March eighth, this Tuesday, at one p.m. And children under seventeen, with an adult, get in for free. Again, children seventeen and under can get in with an adult. Amen. Amen. March the thirteenth is our holy woman. Amen. It starts at oh, it's been rescheduled, right? I got to scratch that out, y'all. Forgive me. Um, March 28th is the parenting class. Um, it's at 6 p.m. via Zoom. Amen. 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 Every Monday night is the Men of Abraham Bible prayer and Bible study. If you know of any males that like would, would like to be a part of something great, please see our social pastor, Palmer. Amen. Our youth pastor, Pastor All. Our big brother, Deacon Sid. Amen. To get on the line. Amen. Amen. March the 27th, March the 27th, we are loading up and we're going to Jacksonville, Florida. <laughs> Let's sign up, it's in the back if you would like to attend. Churches, the bus is leaving out at, the bus is leaving at two. Govern yourselves accordingly. That pastor will be preaching. Let us all go up to Jacksonville, show up and show out in the name of God, amen. Every Tuesday night is the praise team, the briefing, and Bible study. Amen. And every Wednesday night is the Bible study for our youth, which starts at 7.30 p.m. If you know of any nieces or nephews that would like to be a part of something great, please see the youth pastor, Pastor Alls, or Lady Alls, or Minister Mumford. Amen. Amen. If there's any visitors today, if so, please stand so we can recognize you today. All family, amen. 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 Well, Facebook, we just want to say thank you for worshiping with us today. Our prayer is that you would discover the limitless love that our Father has for you. Mount Zion Tabernacle Christian Church is a place to worship. Where we as believers, we're simple through our faith in God, focus in Jesus Christ, and fellowship through the Holy Spirit. I want to say welcome from our overseer, Pastor Stanley Murray, and our beautiful First Lady, Tamika Murray. <laughs> amen. We thank Minister Shaw, amen, for those announcements. Amen. At this time, Pastor All is coming with an announcement at this time. Amen. 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 Uh, good morning. Good morning. Sunday, Easter Sunday, 4 o'clock p.m. And I will ask the youth to go get prepared to come. We're going to do a little infomercial. We're having an Easter play, Easter hey. production. All right. The Risen Savior. Okay. Right. It's going to be at 4. Right. And the reason we started to make announcement this early is because we want to give y'all time to try to find something else to do. Oh. <laughs> so if you can't find nothing else to do, please, these children are working very hard. All right now. We are getting the best out of them, and we thank you, parents, for your children. Yeah. We have a rehearsal every week at... 12 o'clock on a Saturday, every Saturday, 4 o'clock. We need your children. They are excited, but we also need your presence when they get ready to do this at home. Amen. 
the least production. Amen? Amen. The skit going to last, I mean, the, what is it called? The infomercial. The infomercial only going to last about two minutes and 30 seconds, okay? So y'all bear with us. Amen. Amen. We just thank God for past all. Amen. We ask your children, amen, if they will govern themselves accordingly. Oh, they got to do it. It's a risen savior. Wait, first of all, y'all didn't even know what the thing was called, but y'all want to come up here and try to invite us. Mm -hmm. right. mm -hmm. I don't know. What, 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 what is it about? What is it about? It's about the resurrection of Jesus Christ. That's it? And of course not. What are y'all going to be doing in the building? What are you, what are you supposed to do in the building? We asking you. You, you came under us. We're going to act. That's it. Act what? What are we going to act? Get out, because y'all don't even know what y'all talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Get out. So what the play about? What what are we watching? When is it? Where is it? Where it's happening at Mount Zion Top of the Christian Church. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. What okay. time? What day? Four. Mm -hmm. It starts at four. In the morning? Four. What y'all gonna be doing? <laughs> of course. What y'all gonna be doing in the prison? A play. What, what scenes, what we going to learn in the play that I can't remember? We're going to learn about how Jesus Christ died on the cross for our sins. Mm -hmm. That's all y'all going to be doing? Well, what is it? What is it? What is I guess, I guess we'll come. Get out. Hallelujah. Well, we're going to ask y'all to prepare yourselves. Amen for our Easter production by the youth. Amen. Come on, give them a hand, praise. Hallelujah. Amen. It's, amen. It's, it's easy when somebody else got the mic, but when it's your turn, it's get hot. Amen. So we just thank God, amen, for all that you have done and what you have done, amen. So at this time, we want to prepare our hearts, amen. To be a blessing to the ministry. Somebody shout amen. 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 This is a time in which we can give back a portion of which God has given unto us. Amen. We're going to ask those that have electronic payments. Amen. If you have an electronic payment, you can um, please um, see Sister Tiana and Sister Tisha in the office. Amen. If that's electronic payment and those of you that's online and you want to be a blessing to the ministry, amen, you may do so by going to www.mztcc.org. Amen. And you can be a blessing unto the ministry. Amen. But those of us, amen, that are here in the present, amen, we're going to ask you, amen, if you will be a blessing to the ministry. Amen. And we have, amen, our bus is in the shop, amen, and we have to go to Jacksonville, so um, we have to get that out of, out of the shop this coming week. So we're going to also ask you, Amen. If you can be a blessing by digging just a little bit deep, amen. Amen. And be a blessing unto the ministry. But those of you that have your tithe and your offering, amen. Amen. Not one or the other, amen. But both of those, amen. We're going to ask you, amen. If you will prepare those, prepare those 
And if you need an envelope, amen, if you will elevate your hand, amen, and the ushers will come to you, amen. So we just want to be a blessing, amen, to the house of God, amen, because we know that it's a blessing, it's more of a blessing to give than it is to receive, amen, and we don't want to rob God, amen. Say, can somebody say amen? Amen. amen. So we're going to turn part of the service over to the ushers as well as the praise team, amen. One, two, three, I'm so glad, oh yes I am, trouble gone mad.
Let's go, Wayne. We're going to have some minutes of fun, amen, if you will come and bless the offering for us this morning. Father, we thank you again, God, for opportunity. We thank you for being the one who sits high and looks low and gives us an opportunity to give back to the one who's given us everything. We realize that you are the source and we're just the resource, God. So we pray now that these monies be used for the uplifting of your kingdom. We thank you for each and every individual that gave and those who had a desire to give as well. It's in Jesus' name we pray and let the church say amen. 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 We thank you, amen, for your generosity, amen, by way of giving, amen, and truly God loves a cheerful giver, amen. I just thank God, amen, that I am in position to give, amen, and if you're thanking God because you're in position to give, amen, give God a hand praise for yourself this morning, hallelujah, hallelujah. We're going to turn this part of the service over to our own overseer, amen, Pastor Stanley Murray. Come on, put your hands together for the Lord. Come on, put your hands together for the Lord this morning. For he's worthy of not some, not most, but all of your praise. Y'all are worthy. beautiful wife is gathering our information. We're excited that you may be seated. You may be seated. Before we get into the word today, we're going to do something very special, and very unique. Uh, actually, the first time in probably the history of our ministry, what God would call this a fast acceleration. Uh, and not to slight any of the other leaders that we have brought up and promoted. I did it as God told me to. Amen? Amen. Uh, but this is definitely a unique situation. I'm not going to try to figure it out. It's going to follow the Spirit of God as He's directed me to do so. But recently, I guess in the last four or five months, we've brought in two mothers. Amen? Amen. Amen. Mother Kim Rubin and Mother Lucia Bell. Amen? Amen. Amen. We have some long-standing mothers that have been with us for a little while. Mother Porter. Mother Donna, you know you're the longest tenured mother right now? Wow. Amen. 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 She's been with us eight of our 11 years. We thank God for her spirit. And uh, she's still as beautiful as always. And Mother McCullough, she's home, as we call it. Amen. Good to see her spirit. You know, my mama used to tell me this. She said, baby, stay a child as long as you can. And because uh, when the time comes, y'all young folk, y'all listen now. While y'all running around and doing your thing, and I'm not saying y'all can't live. But tell them, brother, Jarvis, after a while, the club ain't just what it used to be no more. Me and Jarvis used to hang in the club together. It's all right. God bless him. He done lost all that weight. Look at him. He done went from grizzly bear to sugar bear. Hey, you like that, ain't you, sis? Look at him. Stop, pastor. Hey, man. But it's good to see my brother. God bless his heart and soul. I'm excited about what God is getting ready to do. So, we are proud today to, to do an appointment of church mother. Amen. We're going to ask if Mother Kaysen will come and stand here at the front. Woo! Well, are you able to stand for a moment? Are you ladies able to stand for a moment? I want y'all to come and stand beside her for just a second here.
Southside present, I'm led by Avon Kaseling, on the candidate of mother. Amen. 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 and a must for a growing church. She is to a pastor in the church where the mother is to her children at home. Here is a very important task for our local church mother. She should hold monthly meetings with the women of the church, teach them things women should know. This is far more effective through the church mother's board. This board is made up of a group of seasoned and well-informed women in the Christ Christian and church administration. This board should consist of those who are qualified to not only know themselves, but the members as well. As Mount Zion Tabernacle Church mothers, you must know your obligation to God, to the church, to the first lady, to the pastors and leaders who instruct as well. This board should teach the support of the support of the church and its pastors to those members. The women should be taught community respect and appreciation. Will you? Dr. Yvonne Casey, as a church mother lead and teach those along those lines. If so, answer by saying, I will do so by the help of the Lord. The major responsibility is to build up every auxiliary of the women's department in the church. The church mothers should have a fingerprint information as to the functions of every auxiliary. They should be able to see to it that they are properly staffed and functional. They should be free of gossip and false tongues. A strong church is one that is spirit-filled and well-organized. They must show a heart of compassion for those who are in ministry, as well as those who have not yet become believers. This will not take from the past, but will enhance its program and help to heal the kingdom of God. Will you do these things gladly and willingly? If so, say, I will do so by the help of the Lord. An effective church boy's mother cannot operate without the authority released by the pastors and officers of the church. It is unfair to appoint a chairman of the board of the church and tie her hands and the hands of the board. Women who cannot be trusted should not be appointed because her responsibility is too great. A failure in operation will impede the progress of the church. Will you do these things gladly and willingly? If so, say I will by the help of the Lord. There should be a pastor church mother relationship going on at all times. And the pastor should be able to request anything within reason to the church mother's board and look for results. Will you do these things gladly and willingly? If so, say, I will by the help of the Lord. So, 
will take thy authority to execute the appointment of church mother from Mount Zion Tabernacle Christian Church in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. I'm going to ask if Pastor Alls will give a prayer from where he stands. Oh, Lord, oh, Lord, how excellent is thy name in all the earth. God, we just want to tell you thank you, thank you Lord. for this service that's going on right now. Continue to bless Mother. God, she's taking a very unique position in the church as Mother. And we definitely need Mothers in this place today. So we ask that you bless people and strengthen her. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. 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 First Lady Mary, if you would like The certificate appointment. Let's acknowledge that Dr. Yvonne Kaysen have responded to the call of God to Christian ministry and have satisfied all the biblical requirements for appointment as a church mother. Likewise, tell the other the older women to be reverent in behavior, not to be slanderers or slaves to drink, that they are to teach what is good, so that they may encourage the young women to love their husbands, to love their children, to be self-controlled, chaste good manners of the household, kind, being submissive to their husband, so that the word of God may not be discredited. Titus chapter 2, verses 3 through 5. Here, the 6th day of March, 2022, appointed by Overseer Stanley L. Murray. God bless you. of the ungodly, yes. nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor seated in the seat of the scornful. Well. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, yes. and in his law doeth he meditate day and night. Well. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. The ungodly are not so, but are like the chaff which the wind driveth away. Therefore, the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. May God add a blessing to the reading of the doers of his holy and divine word. Hallelujah, amen. We thank, amen, Minister Montford for the reading, amen, of the scripture. Amen. How many people love the Lord? Amen. Amen. If you truly love the Lord, come on, give him a hand for you. Hallelujah. Amen. At this time, I'm going to ask you, amen, if you don't mind, if you will rest on your feet, amen. As we receive, amen, the preacher of the hour this morning that comes to break bread, amen. Not just any old preacher, amen, but our pastor, amen, the overseer, amen, of Mount Zion Tabernacle Christian Church. I need you to make some noise, amen, this morning. I need you to help make the devil mad this morning, amen, as our overseer comes to present the word of God, amen. I need you, if you don't mind, if you will elevate your hand towards the altar, amen, and say, Pastor Murray, preach the word. Come on. 
Now, Pastor Murray, preach the word. One more time for the Holy Ghost, Pastor Murray, preach the word. Amen. I oversee it this morning. Hallelujah. You know, I was standing there and I, I remember this old song my mama used to sing. In times like these, oh, in times, come on. Psalms. We're giving out a scripture. We start from where? Those that can and will, please stand for the reading of God's word. The book of Psalms, the 100th Psalm. He says, Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Some, oh. most, all ye lands serve the Lord with gladness come before his presence with singing know ye that the Lord he is God it is he that have made us and not we ourselves we are his people and the sheep of his pasture enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord. Look at somebody say, he is good. Look at somebody say, he is good. His mercy is everlasting. And his truth endures to all generations. You may be seen. Giving honor to our God, to his son that died on Calvary's cross, to our comforter, yet still the Holy Spirit. I'm excited this morning. I can't, I can't say enough, Mount Zion. I'm excited. I thank God for you who are here today. Starting on robbery to give God a praise and a shout.
to the best church my side of heaven. And we will love him. Ain't nobody gonna run you off. And if you're still trying to figure out what love is, we're gonna help you. Love is correction, direction, protection. And you know the most important person you gotta protect yourself from, right? Yourself. To the put it in my pudding pot. <laughs> and all of her glory. Put your hands together, First Lady Mary, this morning. Amen. Amen. To all who can and will that are still having a sight and a sense to love the Lord, we thank you for being with us today. We promise you we will be in depth of this for the Lord. This particular book, this book of Psalms, this book is the 19th of the 39 Old Testament books in the Bible. The Psalms here, written here by our brother David, he wanted to remind us how important it is to know that when you go through things, sometimes you can't always be quiet. And it's amazing how when we do our regular day lives, how we can get real loud and vocal about things in the flesh. I'm by myself, that's okay. My wife drove me there. But we gotta understand that when it's stuff that's messing with our spirit, we sometimes we just can't be quiet about it. When the enemy comes, not if but when, but when the enemy comes, not if but when, but when the enemy comes, that you're gonna have to be prepared to say what needs to be said, thus saith the Lord. Many times we we cower down, we we get quiet, we we, 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 we go into a spirit of depression. Some, dare I say it, suicidal thoughts, Sister Palmer. Some of us who are so withdrawn from the Lord. Then we try to speak loud like on Facebook when nobody cares. I don't care how many likes you got, how many loves you got, they don't care. I don't care how much you Instagram and TikTok, they don't care. Because if you know how people do it, everybody's surfing the whole time anyway. They're swiping right, they're swiping up. So they just happen to catch you for a second. They done moved on to, some to somebody else. And so you got to start asking yourself, the God that I deal with, thank God that God don't swipe me right. Thank God that when I'm going through something, God takes the time to stop and hear my cry, hear my prayer. Say, God, what, what would you what would you have me to tell your people today? Those who, who are going through so much in their mind, their body, their spirit, those who have found themselves withdrawn, those who have found themselves in recluse, those who have found themselves not feeling quite like themselves, what would you tell them? My God. God says, Well, I want to bring them back to this familiar text. Mm -hmm. And we're only going to deal with the first verse, second verse, third verse. We'll be out of here, I promise you. He says, make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that hath made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Holy Ghost just spoke. Listen, you guys, 2022, quit coming to church and not taking notes. All right. All right, I know you got the power of osmosis. You can remember everything. But God said he'll give you more than you have room to receive. He's talking about knowledge, not money. Amen. Amen. But you got to be able to be in a position to understand when God gives you something unique. God gives you something special to your spirit. If you're not writing it down, recording it down, I don't care, type it in your phone, then you come back 20 minutes later going, what was that again? Uh -huh. Come on, help us today. God wants to use us for others. You are not coming to church for it just for yourself. God wants to use you as a conduit, as an example, holy and acceptable, which is your reasonable service. But you cannot do that sitting here for three credits. That's religious class. You get that at UCF. But for a relationship class, you find that you just can't stop writing down what God would give unto you. He said, write it down and make it plain. But if I don't write it down, that's why it's not plain to me. That's why I don't understand what God wants of me. Because 
I won't study. Come on. I, I, God, memorizing scripture does not make you knowledgeable of the scripture. You're able to recite it, but it does not make you holy. Yes, sir. Come on, Reverend. Taking the scripture, putting it to practice, making some mistakes along the way, getting before the Lord through your conviction to accept your conversion, you then find yourself utilized by God. Let's look at the text. The book of Psalms, 150 individual Psalms. Psalms does not have individual chapters. 2,461 verses, some 42,704 King James words. That's how it's broken down into it. But with that being said, Psalms has various authors. Psalms, the sons of Korah, Solomon. There's some other people that are involved. Even Moses wrote one. But in the midst of all that, you stop and you ask yourself, would all of these authors, would all of this, this exhortation of the word, it will deal with almost everything you're going through as an individual person. It will deal with everything relating to a marriage, to raising your kids, to paying your bills. Y'all not working with me on this. It will give you everything that you need to be a holistic Christian. I know Psalm 23, but very familiar. One text we read quite a bit. Some of us, right. we got it on the front of our front of our car. We got it, you know, written in our uh, bottom of our email. That's our little scripture we write. I got that. But my question on the floor is, does your life match your lips? He says, make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know that yet he is the Lord. He is God. He that have made us, not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. If I had a way to encourage you this morning, y'all got to help me now. Yes, See, pastor's going to preach about preach something, something to shout about. Y'all quiet already. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, Sister Park. I don't, but when you think about what God has done just individually for you, when you think about that midnight hour, that afternoon, that morning, when you think about a minister when God came and brought you something when you thought when nobody else going to show up, when God just popped in out of the blue and put you in a place where you was lost with everything coming to get you, and He came and picked you up, turned you around, and placed your feet on solid ground. I don't know about you, but that's something to shout about. Let me get natural for a second. I am an avid, die-hard, card-toting. Dallas Cowboy fan. Yes, <laughs> and mother, my wife don't usually bother me doing the game unless she's trying to be messy. When they win in Brother Jacob, I can't be quiet. Amen. When they lose in Brother Jacob, I can't be quiet. Y'all not catching this. I got to shout when they win it. Q, I got to shout when they lose it. Every now and then, the God will bless me, though. He'll let me play them Patriots. Because my wife is a Patriot fan. And she shouted the whole game. But God got this funny sense of humor. Because when they be up, she be like, what's wrong, baby? And I say, ain't nothing wrong. I'm holding on. But see, when they up, when I'm cowboys up, I don't bother her. But every now and then, God will bring it back to you. What am I saying? That when you're going through with things in your life, you can't always sit down and be quiet about it. Sometimes you gotta get before the Lord and you gotta scream with everything you got. And you gotta say, Lord, it's me this time. And I got some stuff on me that Ajax can't take off. I need you to step in my life. I need you to build me back up. Cause my confidence has been taken. My spirit of joy been messed with. And I refuse to serve you and not give a shout. He says, make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Now, now, now. I teach our ministers here. 
when you preach, you preach from three areas. Yes, sir. Thank God they made it through those seven weeks. <laughs> and that final exam. <laughs> you must bring a title. Uh -huh. right. You must bring a text that relates to the title. And you must know what territory you're teaching in. What am I saying? One of the worst things to do is get up a preacher's sermon mm -hmm. that's not connected to what you're supposed to be preaching. Uh -oh, right Y'all don't want to hear that. Okay. You can preach anything in the Bible you want. Yes <laughs> and no. Because the Holy Ghost directs what's to be preached. Because he's trying to reach someone that has not heard the word in confirmation. They've heard it in revelation, meaning they felt something in the spirit from God, but they're looking for the man God, the woman of God, to bring it to them in a mindset that's going to remind them that they are not alone and they can leave with hope. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Come on this, Lord. You can't get folk always to shout about their sins. Y'all right. right. quiet. I like you. I love it. Who wants to shout about what I got going wrong? But what I loved about grandmama and great grandmama and granddaddy them, they had stuff we just didn't know about y'all not getting this. Because God let they let God deal with them in private, so it didn't stumble us in public. That's why they had a kids' table. When you went over to somebody's house to eat, Miss Lucy put you out on the, y'all not catching this, she put you out on the back porch because she didn't want you sitting there trying to hear what grown folk were saying. That's the problem some of us got, parents. You got your children in grown folk conversations, and then you mad when they shouting about it. Had a partner said he used to take his daughter to school every morning. Oh. And every now and then somebody cut him off. And he said, ah, bah, 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 bah. Well, one morning he was driving his daughter to school. And somebody cut him off. But before he could get it out, his baby said, ah, bah, 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 bah. <laughs> What am I saying? If you teach your children how to pray, they'll pray. Now if you teach your children how to shout, then they'll learn how to shout. And I stop by the encouraging blood watch believers that you gotta start putting God in your bed and start letting him work through your mind. That when you bring a word up to someone, they'll see it long before you say something. You can walk and have a shout and ain't said a mumbling word. Your walk is your shout. Your talk is your shout. Your love is your shout. Now I got any showers today that when I stand up, you can see my shout. If I was going to wave my hand, you can see my shout. I got any showers today that will just wave their hand and say, I got a shout. Grandmama died, and they got to pull you off the casket. You will not put grandma over God. The devil is a liar. You can't shout for the Lord, and I ain't got nothing against you, grandma, because I don't know. Your husband died, and you can't stop shouting. But the whole time y'all was married, you was quiet as a lamb in church. I know y'all won't be back next year, it's okay. Y'all gotta start understanding. He will not let you put nothing, nobody, and no place ahead of him. And if you start giving him the praise that's rightly due, maybe, just maybe, he'll clean up what's going on in your marriage, with your kids, in your house, with your health, on your finances, on your mindset, get you out of depression. You gotta have joy. So, he said, I got to know something to shout about no matter where I'm at. 
Whatever land I'm in, if I'm in a land of depression, I still got a shot. If I'm in a land of good things, I still got a shot. If I'm a land of anger, I still got a shot. If I'm a land of joy, I still got a shot. No matter what land I'm in, no matter what territory I'm in, no matter what area of my life I'm in, I must still shout unto the Lord, thank you. You know what's wrong with us? We ain't grateful for nothing. I don't know how many conversations, Sister Cassandra, I have during the day with people who ain't grateful. The whole time they're talking, Mama Color, they ain't grateful. They feel like the world done them wrong. They're entitled to some kind of benefit. They put their situation over their salvation. And before they know it, they question in their conversion because they're not convicted. I agree, we all got stuff. We all got things that we have to go through. We all have problems, we all have situations. We, we all got this, we all miss somebody. We always miss some place, we all miss something. We all got that. The question on the floor is, is what you're going through bigger than God? I appreciate you guys' patience today. As we had our leaders meeting, so we were a little, we were a little longer than we expected, but God got through what he got through. And every leader was brought in and told their responsibility. And if you don't follow your responsibility, there is a consequence. Amen. Because I need to know who I'm working with. The Bible says know those that, y'all not getting it. The Bible says know those that labor among you. So I got to know who's really saying, Pastor, I got your back. And it just, their life matches their lips. And if you don't think I'm talking about you, hold on and your time coming. Because we all are accountable to how we operate in the word of God with God's people. He says, serve the Lord with gladness. How can I serve the Lord with gladness if I'm not following the responsibilities that I've been given? I can't do it gladly. I can do it. You know what the modern day church is? They built on the work without the word. Yeah. Huh? How big can I do this? How much can I do that? I gotta be unique in this. I gotta be, and that's fine if God gives you that direction. But if it's not without the word, it's worthless. And some of us have got to start getting our inner circle with people who want to be worthy of the Lord. Amen. Why am I hanging around with folk who don't want to be worthy unto the Lord? I don't care if they can to you. You would think blood make you family, but I'm... Mm. Y'all don't have it. Y'all, y'all family, y'all. Y'all wear the same t-shirts at the fair year. I get it. Some of us, we got some folk that they just are what they are. And it doesn't mean we're better than them. That's right. But we differ. Amen. And I'm not lowering my standards for no brother, no, no sister, no, no mama, no, no daddy, no, no husband, no, no wife. No. Because I shouldn't have married if she wasn't going to be. Okay, I'm about to say. Amen. If I don't have the proper mate next to me who doesn't want to evolve in God, we have to talk. We cannot evolve. We cannot move up in Christ. We cannot get better. Why y'all so? Go ahead, sir. Go ahead, sir. You can't get ahead with God if you're not in tune together in God. You can't ask your kids to do right at school when it's doing wrong at home. And you're preaching, sir. So he says here. Something to shout about. No matter where I'm at, now he says, no matter how I feel. Because mm. a lot of times, what do we do when we're feeling down? 
get in our car. We put on a little bit of right. Not bit of right, guys. Some of us go a little further, let's straighten it out. Y'all ain't, y'all ain't never. I wish I had some people deep that went through some things. These are the most sanctified folk I ever had to preach to. When you begin to think about some of the stuff you go through when you had, y'all remember that when you were going through in your mind, you didn't know how you gonna make it, brother, brother Jack. Well, you, 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 you put a look, you put that eight track in, real to real <coughs> record, put the dime on. Why don't you go around? Listen to it, <laughs> right? But then after a while, I turned in Marvin for my hair. Y'all ain't going to work with me on this. Huh? And I turned him in from, 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 from worrying about what's happening on Saturday night because now I was concerned about my Sunday morning. And I began to realize that the things I was going through, even though I was making some mistakes, God used me later to be a miracle for somebody else. And I want to know if there's anybody that can at least say, I thank God that he got me through and that bullet went through the window and it missed me. That when that car hit me and I spin around like this here, and God got me out of that. That when I was standing in front of that judge, it could have got 20 and 30 life. But God said, no, you don't. Y'all don't know what I'm talking about. When you begin to realize what God has done for you when your baby was laying in that bed. And it was inside that incubator. And you didn't know if that baby was going to live. And you shouted unto the Lord, Lord, whatever you got to do, save my child. Jesus. Something to shout about. And so, oh. stop by here, Lord. Yes. He said, Know ye that the Lord, He is good, that He is God. It is He that have made us and not we ourselves. And that's what I'm going back to. When you are grateful, you begin to realize that things that you're getting, it ain't because your daddy got a good job. Because God still got to touch it. Y'all not catching this. God still got to touch his heart for him to be a good daddy. You ain't got what you got just because you got that little thing on the wall that say this, that, and the other. It was God that opened the door for them to let you even come into the school to sit there and get your education and use. You still had to have the mindset to study hard to be doing. You wanted to go out and do things. You sat there and you studied. And if you want to give all that normal education the attention they deserve, why would I not pick up a Bible every now and then and study to show myself approved and shout about how it could it feel? So I got in this study is in here today and said, I study the word of God and it pulls a shout out of me. We quiet. We can't shout about what we don't know. That's why we quiet. We don't know nothing. Sit here all week. All my all year. Go pay six hundred dollars to a conference in New York City and come back and say, Pastor, I got a word. What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> what he said? He said, make a joke of noise unto the Lord, all ye land. Well, I could have sworn I heard, heard that somewhere else. <laughs> Praise God. We're not taking the word of God serious enough, brothers and sisters. And yes, it does affect how you feel. Yes, sir. But the good thing is you can come out of it knowing you're going to be greater than you were before you went in it. But you got to have an attitude and a mindset to say, God, I'm, I'm going to be honest, Lord, I got some stuff wrong with me. But I come to sit down and hear your word today. That whatever's wrong with me, I want you to clean it up. I want you to wash it up. I want you to mess with me, God. Get me off, get me back on track because I know I'm off track. So that when I walk out of here, I got something to shout about. his people and the sheep of his pasture but if I don't know that how can I shout about it know where I'm at no matter where I'm at no matter how I feel no matter who I'm with 
no matter who you're with, brothers and sisters, the spirit of the Lord should be on you. And if it's not, get into a place where it can get on you. I don't say this jokingly, brothers and sisters. I set my phone four times a day for a purpose. Because I know I could be somewhere in my mind. It won't take much. I know y'all can stay focused the whole day, y'all. But every now and then, Rick, I can get on track. To me. I mean, y'all got it good. But sometimes, look at Sandra, I got stand or rise up and say some things. And I ain't got to be a cusser. I don't cuss, but I can say some stuff that hurt your feelings and I ain't never got to cuss. Amen. Y'all don't know what I'm talking about here. So I have to let God deal with me in my mind and how I operate because there are times that I realize that I'm off track, but thank God that I'm convicted enough that when I am off track, I let that phone, ooh, ooh, yeah. ooh. Yeah. I get into prayer. Yes, and I want to encourage some blood watch believer today that if you want change in your life, that you're going to have to understand and you're going to have to live a, a little shout about some things. I remember this commercial, Q. Whenever you had a bad stain on your clothes. Whenever you had a little bad stain on your clothes. You took this, shot it out, and you sprayed it on your clothes. But what most folks didn't do. They didn't read the direction. As soon as they shot on it, they went to messing with it. It says wait so it can agitate the stain. Every now and then, when you put up your prayer, wait and let the prayer go through. Sometimes, when you're giving up your praise, wait and watch God get it on. When you got a good worship, wait and let the worship go through. I don't know about you, but when I think about the Lord, He will take care of you. Now there's something to shout about. Forty and two generations ago, I heard, heard about the man called Jesus. He did some things. Born in a manger Sounds like something to shout about to me He died on Calvary's cross Sounds like something to shout about to me I heard, heard My God Seven powerful says I heard My God He died for you and he died for me. Yeah! My God! In a bar or two. Can you picture Mary? All day Friday. Shouting. How much she loved her son. Yeah! There he was. All day Friday. There he was. All day Saturday. Saturday night. There he was. But one Sunday morning, he got up with some power. He got up with most power. He got up with all. Oh, if you believe that your Lord and your Savior got up with all power, get on your feet. Wave your hand and said, I know, I know, I got something to shout about. What the doctor said, something to shout about. What the doctor said, something to shout about. What the judge said, something to shout about. I know he's alright. Something to shout about. As we prepare our hearts and minds of knowing that God is our Savior, I want to offer you the opportunity to give your life unto Him. While there's still time.
Maybe you're saying, you know, I know the Lord for myself and a part of my sins. But I don't have a church or a place of consistency. Brothers and sisters, this is a time to learn God like never before. Because there's a new enemy coming. And if you're not ready, you're going to get swept up. You're going to believe everything that's said and done. And it will all be lies. For the Antichrist is making his appearance. I hear the Holy Ghost speak. And God is going to need his people ready to do what needs to be done. But you said, I need prayer this morning. I ask for the second time, you just raise your hands. Father God, whatever is on those hearts today, I ask that you would give them what they need. Wherever they're lost, God, I ask that you would find them. Wherever they're sick, God, I ask that you would not just give them relief, but heal them, Lord. God, for those who carry spirits of depression, anger, animosity, right now we ask that you would relieve them with joy, peace, and long-suffering. Most of all, God, teach us how to be grateful. Because in being grateful, we receive your greatness. We ask this in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We say amen, amen, amen. Let's prepare for our communion this morning. Amen. I been told my brother Jaquan wants to come and acknowledge something to me. Brother Jaquan, you believe the Lord Jesus died for your sins. You believe he's coming back just for you. Are you willing to sacrifice your gifts and talents that God has given you? Are you satisfied with the baptism you received in the past? Will to submit yourself to those talents and gifts under the authority placed in this house. We we'll receive you today as a man of Abraham. Welcome home.
Bible said that Jesus had prepared the disciples to go and make a supper. Not realizing this would be the last time that they would dwell with him in his natural body. From the time he returned, he was with a new body. He said that he took the bread, he prayed, and he broke it. And I asked if Deacon Croker would pray over the bread and the cup. Heavenly Father, I come to you today to bless this bread and the cup that we received it. And I just thank you for your son, Lord Jesus. Amen. I'm going to ask if you guys will come in succession from this direction, from my left to my right. And now, starting to the rear. Presentation of the broken body on Calvary's cross. Take ye, eat all of it. The cup, the representation of the blood that was shed on Calvary's cross. Had it be no shedding of blood, there would be no remission of our very sins. Take ye, drink all of it.
I know it was the blood. Amen. Amen. Actually, um, a good, solid uh, month and a half. We've been back in. We've been outside for a year and a half, so we might be a little rusty with some of our indoor stuff. Amen. Amen. So we pray for your patience as we start putting things back together. Um, those of us who have been who have joined under new membership, um, April will be our new members class for the quarter. Amen. So, um, Dr. Case, we're reaching out to you for that. Um, you have anything, darling? Okay, amen. Uh, if you do desire to um, take an opportunity to bring your, your children out on Tuesday, we know it's a school day. Um, but also know we're taking our children out for a lot less. You better help somebody. Amen. Amen. Um, I, got some, yeah, I have some nephews in, in the house that's been doing pretty good in school, so I want to let them know that we appreciate them. Amen. Amen. Sons that are doing pretty good. My son got a job. Y'all believe that? Amen. Baby boy. Amen. So we're not giving one good enough. He wanted benefits. Amen. Do we have any March? Is this March? Yeah. Any March birthdays? Elijah. Elijah's your birthday? Oh, Sister Regina, it's your birthday. The 20th. The 20th. Amen. The 8th. The 8th. Yeah. And Anita, her birthday. Birthday. Angie's birthday. Okay, well, you know, uh, your husband's going to do his thing. You want to do a lot of first? I'm going to take it.
and some of your directions is not good, but we're going to make the best of them. Amen. 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 Keep on praying. Keep staying here. She'll be all right. Regina, it's your birthday? Mother Kim. Come on, say something about your baby. I just want to say to my mom, happy early birthday. I love you. You're my best friend, um, my confidant. I don't know where I would be without this. I love you and enjoy, and I wish you many, many more to come. Amen. Amen. The Holy Ghost says what you went through was for somebody else. Somebody else, my Jay. Amen. God is doing some great things, is he not? Amen. 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 All hearts and minds are clear. We good, baby? Good. Gianna, you my rock, girl. Amen. Any anniversaries in March? Yes, I was, was in March. Did, did, was, was, that, was that great? Yes. Amen. <laughs> Brothers, y'all got to catch me in that class on how to be great in your household. I can help you. Saying, y'all want to learn? Shame on you. Amen. I don't even charge; it's free. <laughs> Amen. To God be the glory. Amen. Amen. To all that's being done, let the church say Amen. Let the church. Before you leave. 